A ticking time bomb. It's how some describe defective Takata airbags that can explode and send metal flying with deadly force. Takata airbags have already caused 15 deaths and 265 injuries just in this country. According to Honda, over 62,000 Americans are still driving around with these potentially explosive devices in their cars since the recall began in 2004. This is life and death. Senator Bill Nelson is calling on Heidi King, next in line to fill the top vacancy at the Federal Highway Safety Agency to do more, asking during her confirmation hearing if she will require all affected automakers to submit detailed public plans to improve the recall rates. I would not commit to compelling them to release confidential business information, but you have my absolute commitment to continue to press each and every one of the manufacturers until each and every one of these dangerous airbags are replaced. I think the fact that she has difficulty in saying that she will do that is certainly uh, causing questions in my mind. Just this month, NHTSA sent letters to 12 automakers asking them to set up meetings to share their plans after they missed a December deadline to replace millions of faulty airbags. Senator Bill Nelson says that the agency is not working fast enough. Why is it so hard for the nominee to say, yes, I'll do everything, move heaven and earth to get those airbags replaced? Right now, uh, I'm certainly not inclined to vote for. Others on the committee say King has already demonstrated leadership in the role, serving as acting director of the agency. I thought she was uh, very responsive. She got you know some fairly tough questions from some of the Democrats on the committee. And I thought she handled them well, and she's going to follow the law. Uh, she's very committed to safety. In Washington, Samantha Giraffe, Spectrum News.